Speak, Chapter 74, Advice from a Smart Mouth. David Petrakis sends me a note in social studies. Typed. He thinks it's horrible that my parents didn't videotape Mr. Next class or stick up for me the way his folks did. It feels so good to have someone feel sorry for me. I don't mention that my parents don't know what happened. They'll figure out what happened soon enough at the next meeting with the guidance counselor. I think David should be a judge. His latest career goal is to be a quantum physics genius. I don't know what that means, but he says his father is furious. His dad is right. David was made for the law. Deadly, calm, turbocharged brain, and good eyes for weaknesses. He stops by my locker. I tell him Mr. Nutt gave me a D for the suffragette report. David, he has a point. Me, it was a great report. You read it. I wrote a b bibliography and I didn't copy from the encyclopedia. It was the r best report ever. It's not my fault Mr. Neck doesn't get performance art. David pauses to offer me a stick of gum. It's a delaying tactic. The kind that juries love. David, but you got it wrong. The suffragettes were all about speaking up, screaming for their rights. You can't speak up for your right to be silent. That's letting the bad guys win. If the suffragettes did that, women wouldn't be able to vote yet. I blow a bubble in his face. He folds the gum wrapper into tiny triangles. David, don't get me wrong. I think what you did was kind of cool and getting stuck in miss wasn't fair. But don't, but don't expect to make a difference unless you speak up for yourself. Me. Do you lecture all of your friends like this? David. Only the ones I like. We both chew on that for a minute. The bell rings. I keep looking for my, in my locker for a book that I already know isn't there. David checks his watch a hundred times. We hear principal, principal bellow. Let's move it, people. David. Maybe I'll call you. Me. Maybe I won't answer. Choo-choo. Blow bubble pop. Maybe I will. Is he asking me out? I don't think so. But he kind of is. I guess I'll answer if he calls. But if he touch if he touches me, I'll explode. So a date is out of the question. No touching.